And now stay tuned for PTG TV's Pulse on America, where we bring you the latest in educational, consumer, sports, and business information that's right for your lifestyle. For over a century, manufacturing has been the backbone of the U.S. economy. Even with so many products being imported today, America still makes more goods than ever before. The new breed of manufacturers in America makes everything from mountain bikes to computers to jet parts, and they just can't find enough skilled workers for these high-paying jobs. Here to tell us more is Jerry Jasinowski, president of the Manufacturing Institute. Welcome to the program, Jerry. Thank you, Wayne. If manufacturing is booming in America, why are there so many layoffs and jobs moving overseas? Well, it's always tough when somebody loses a job, and some jobs have gone overseas because they're low technology and they don't pay all that well. But the fact of the matter is that we still have an enormous manufacturing job capability in the United States. We have uh, 14 million uh, manufacturing jobs, and these are among the highest paying most interesting jobs and average compensation which is more than sixty thousand dollars a year there are so many products being made overseas and sold to u.s consumers does it really matter if we make anything in america it is essential that we make things in america because making things is at the heart of our innovation our productivity increases our economic growth and our capacity to create jobs and manufacturing and making things is also at the heart of our national security Fortunately, not only do we manufacturing a lot in America, we manufacturing more than we ever did with a $1.5 trillion manufacturing economy. The positive impact that manufacturing has on the U.S. economy is powerful. Every dollar of manufactured goods produced in the U.S. generates an extra $1.37 in economic activity, higher than in any other sector. This is the magic multiplier of manufacturing. U.S. manufacturing drives innovation, generating nearly three-quarters of America's industrial research and development. One of the biggest challenges in manufacturing today is the severe shortage of skilled technical workers, engineers, and scientists. Joining us now from Torrance, California, is Kelly Johnson, president of a small manufacturing company that makes high-tech aerospace and power generation components. Kelly, tell us more about the skills shortage. We're having a tough time finding skilled employees. In fact, we have current job openings that we have been unable to fulfill for more than a year. And these are high paying, exciting careers for machine programmers, for welders, for tool designers. The skill shortage is a huge problem and it's affecting manufacturers across our country. What would you tell young people who might be interested in a career in manufacturing? I would tell young people that there are employees here at Ace Clearwater that are making $72,000 a year and parts that they designed and built are on the planet Mars. I'd also tell them that it's really important to study math and science and they should consider a two-year technical college as a path to a rewarding career in manufacturing. To make manufacturing a top career choice by 2010, the Manufacturing Institute has launched Dream It, Do It an exciting manufacturing careers and economic development campaign that expands regional growth by attracting young people to good manufacturing careers and providing them with access to local training, educational and job opportunities. Jerry, why is the Dream It, Do It campaign so important? The Dream It, Do It campaign is important because it brings a whole new face to modern manufacturing and shows young people that we're a high technology environment where we make exciting products and it has gotten young people to really get excited about these new jobs and to go to their community schools and look at ways in which they can get into manufacturing as a career. If you'd like to learn more about manufacturing and its career opportunities, you can go online and visit www.dreamit-doit.com or you can visit the Manufacturing Institute online at www.nam.org institute. You can also learn more by calling 202-637-3443. That's all for this edition of Pulse on America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wayne Stofsky. Be sure to tune in at 24 or 54 minutes past the hour for more Pulse on America stories. Stay tuned. CNN Headline News is next.